Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you do not know me, my name is Gemma and I am going to become an exchange student. In this video, I'm going to show you what I am actually taking on my exchange trip. So if you haven't seen the first video of where I actually talk about that I'm going on exchange and I'm also going to America for a trip before I go on exchange, click up here. But after the video, you can go visit that video. Anyways, before I begin showing you what I pack, I did mention that I actually bought a new camera product that is purposely for this trip and I thought it would be absolutely awesome and I've always wanted one, but thought I will reveal it. So it's actually amazing, it's this bag, it's a lunch bag, kidding. So the product I actually have is, is actually a drone. So with the help of my friends, the drone's name is Kevin Boot. Chim. And this is the DJI Mini 3 drone. Because it's under 250 grams, it's actually designed for travel. And I just got the standard remote if you're into drones. Like, this is just a standard remote. Um, I didn't get the new remote, but I thought it would be absolutely amazing to get some really cool shots on this drone when I'm on my travels. And it can actually film sideways, which is pretty cool. Anyways, hope you will be able to see some really cool shots filmed on this drone. But let me show you what I am bringing on my exchange. Okay, before you saw a little montage of the clothes being packed away, and this is it. And I have changed a few things, but that's majority of the clothes I am taking because I am one going to America, which is going to be summer, but by the time I get to Canada, it will be fall. That's weird to say because we say autumn. But those are my clothes, and that is my underwear and stuff. Moving on, this is my technology section. Starting off with bringing my laptop my phone, my portable hard drives, one's for editing and one is for storage, my Apple Watch, my GoPro in case I want to do some action shots. It's a really old one but it gets the job done. My headphones, a portable charger and the drone bag. Also this camera. Next are my cables. So here I just have a standard iPhone to USB. This is my Apple Watch charger. This is my MacBook charger, the USB-C to USB-C. This is the iPhone charger to USB-C because it can plug into my laptop. This is the MacBook brick charger. I had to buy this accessory on top because this is for North America. It kind of looks a bit funny though. Another Apple Watch charger. USB-C to all these different port chargers for my MacBook. Another USB-C to USB-C cable for my drone. Uh, this is a micro USB-C to USB for charging my portable charger. This is just another USB-C to USB. I found these headphones around my house. I'm going to bring this on the plane. This is just to watch movies. And here I have the US travel adapter. We will also bring the Australian ports, the multiple one. I'll just pop it here in post-production, but one of these. Next is jewelry. So just a standard silver chain necklace. Another necklace. My Scorpio necklace, which a friend got for me. A Pandora bracelet, another bracelet, and a ring. I do not wear that much jewelry, so this should be okay. Next are other camera accessories. This neck strap that connects to my camera. My Gorillapod tripod. This is just a little um, accessory for the GoPro, which I can get attached to something else. Fluffy thing. I think it's called a mic muff, but yeah, that's also coming with me. Okay, next are some toiletries. So toothpaste, toothbrush, sunscreen, gum. That's not a toiletry, but... I don't know why I put it here. Comb, hair ties, my retainer, because once I forgot this on a cruise and I didn't have it for two weeks and my teeth, they moved. So retainer is very important. Medicine, I have other medicines. I'll pack them later, but like Zyrtex, some COVID testing kit. This will come with me on the plane, but purple. And that will also come with me on the plane. Some Dettol hand wipes and some deodorant. Pretty sure there's some other items that need to be packed, but I will think of them later. A travel diary that one of my cousins got for me for my birthday. Wallet. This collapsible container. Photos my friend printed for me. A water bottle. An extra tote bag. Calculator because I will need that for school. And SIM card. I'm also sending a box of some things that I can't take on the plane which aren't worth it because they have no use in America. So that is all in that box. Once it gets to Canada, I will reveal what I have brought over. Another item that will be coming with me are a set of air tags. So I have just popped one in my suitcase. One's going to go with my carry-on and the other one's going to go in the shipment. I haven't decided if I'm going to take this carry-on or not. That already weighs three kilos and the max is seven kilos. I might need to go for another bag, like a duffel bag. 
Also, we'll need to pack this backpack. Also thinking of taking these screen protectors, but I'm not too sure. And something for my family that is extremely Australian. Jars of Vegemite. Also, this tote bag I will need to bring too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will probably be adding a lot more items to this list, but we will just have to wait and see. Like this video and comment if you are considering going on exchange. There will be lots of exchange content on this channel, but also travel content. And subscribe if you are new to stay up to date with my exchange experience. And until next video, bye. Luggage.